Hello, people. I'm Javi Kuwait, joined by Sintel Kuwait. What's good? We're starting The Family Man, the series with Manoj Bajpayee. And I am super, super excited for this. I've been anxiously waiting to watch this. And with Sintel in town, I thought, this is the perfect dude to watch the show with. Absolutely. If you are watching this on YouTube, more than likely this is cut down to 10 minutes. And so if you want to watch the whole thing along with us, then you'll have to go to our Patreon page. You won't be able to see the actual video we're watching, but you can open it up in a separate window and it's like you're watching the whole thing along with us with, mm. with two of your favorite pals in the world. All right, <laughs> here we go. Episode one, The Family Man. Let's go. Identify <laughs> Why would you do that? Play it off, man. I'll just save their life. खराब कार भी नहीं है तुम लोग बता नहीं कितने लकी हो तुम लोग मैं पांच किलोमीटर साइकिल चला के स्कूल जाया करता था और हमारे घर भी नदी पार करके आ रहा हूँ बहन चोद गाना घुस जाओ इंसान के वो जल्दी आ गया तुम एक घंटा लेट खाली बस बजे होगी और मत बजा बच्चों को स्कूल ड्रॉप करके आ रहा हूँ सर वो मैं क्या बताऊँ एक भयंकर एक्सीडेंट हो गया था सर हाँ सर नहीं नहीं मेरा नहीं सर मेरा नहीं कोई टैक्सी वाले ने एक बड़ा पावल होकर मार दिया सर सर मैं क्या बताऊँ खूनम खून हो गया था वो <laughs> सर जी इस स्टोरी में हम जिंदा बचता हूँ कि नहीं <laughs> बॉस के मूड के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है आप कहीं से ट्रेनिंग लेते हैं क्या साहब क्या खड़े खड़े कहानी बना लेते हैं शादी कर ले खड़े खड़े बहुत कुछ बनाएगा तू That was great. Wow, what a jerk. Come on. This is Srikant Tiwari. We are calling from St. Archer School. This is regarding your daughter, Dreeti. Uh -oh. oh, Papa, can you please come here immediately? Man, what happened? Nothing. Just take a small si tablet and take so much drama. Which tablet? Which tablet? Ah, it's an anti-spasmodic tablet. What? क्यों? हाँ, anti-spasmodic tablet. Okay, right, 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 right. तुम माँ को फोन किया? Is that like a tampon? उनको कॉल करूँगी ना? मैंने बताया ना ये निकलना यहाँ से possible नहीं है बेटा. और वैसे भी तुम्हारी माँ इन सब चीजों को बहुत अच्छे से handle करेगी. Why don't you do one thing? Just call her and she will. She knows these these kind of things. Yeah. हाँ, ये लोग पागल हो रहे हैं. They want to suspend me and shit. Suspend. I'm sorry, sister. Sister, what is it that my colleague is dealing with clinical depression? She has been divorced for six months. But she hasn't been accepted until now. And he's a very introvert type. He's always coming up with these stories. He doesn't open up with people. That's why he calls me every time. And I feel scared that if I didn't raise his phone, then he won't do anything to suicide. Yes. What were you saying, sister? So my tariffs are not here, sir. I am just a computer engineer. I have nothing to do with it. 
I feel like something's gonna go wrong. Oh yeah, absolutely. Why weren't you there? I was taking care of my daughter. And her drug habit. Oh. oh, damn. Oh, goodness. That was a dope shot. It was. It's go time. Mr. Srikant, um, don't make me explain this all over Fuck. again. I have to go. Wo, 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 JK. Building a terrace, I have to go. I have to go. I have to go and stop him. Please. Follow Dicker. They are going towards the church. Damn. He got some quick reflexes. Yeah, dude's like Ed Harris, an enemy at the gates. It's <laughs> like picking them off as they come through. Oh. Oh. Aye. This is Rikanti Wari. Sorry, yaar. Yaar, wo pagal ho gaya pasha. Ek ek karke sabko thoke ja raha hai. Do logo ko already maar chuka hai. Tere do dost maare ja chuke hain. Tujhe zinda rehna hai. Wo haath upar kar aur bahar aa ja. Wo mera dost nahi hai. Mujhe ye sab karna bhi nahi tha. Mujhe bas siriya se bhag ke apni baag ke bas wapas aana tha. I just want to go back to my father. Officer bolo iske baag ke bare mein pata kar. भाई ये पिस्टल बाहर रख के तेरे पास आऊंगा जितिन तू पागल हो गया क्या मैं जानता हूँ मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ घंटा पता है तुझे अरे क्यों बलि चढ़ा रहा है अपनी तो क्या करूँ अगर मैंने अंदर जाकर के बात नहीं किया ना आराम से तो ये भागड़ बिल्ला महादर चो तो उसके सर पे गोली मारेगा भोसड़ी ने तेरे को गोली मार दी तो नेगेटिव रिसोर्स बैंक तुझे यकीन नहीं होगा लेकिन मुझसे ज्यादा तेरी तकलीफ कोई नहीं समझेगा पता है मैं नागालैंड में था अचानक खबर आया कि मेरी माँ को चक्कर आया जब तक मैं पहुंचा था उसका अंतिम संस्कार भी हो चुका था oh, माँ के आखिरी समय में उसका चेहरा भी नहीं देख पाया था मुझसे एक मुसाए मेरे लिए मेरा देश तेरे लिए जहाल माँ तो माँ होती है और एक माँ के लिए मरे बेटे से जिंदा बेटा ज़्यादा अच्छा है। पुराना? मा। फिर से मार दिया को? <laughs> क्या करूं? मा के मौत में इमोशन ही कुछ ऐसा है इस बार सोचता हूँ उज्जैन में अम्मा के लिए ना महा मृत्यु जगह जाप करा दू जिस दिन माता जी को मालूम पड़ा ना कि उनका बेटा हर दूसरे दिन उनको मार देता है सबसे पहले तेरा श्राद्ध करेंगे वो <laughs> बार बार उकसाने के बाद भी हिंदुस्तान में पाकिस्तान के टेरर का जवाब कभी किसी बड़े हमले की शक्ल में नहीं दिया पार्लियामेंट अटैक करवाया ट्वेंटी सिक्स इलेवन किया लेकिन हिंदुस्तानी हुकूमत सोती रही अब वक्त आ गया उन्हें जगाने का कुछ ऐसा करने जा रहे हैं कि हिंदुस्तानी आवाम का खून खो उठेगा इसे हर तरीके से एक्ट ऑफ वॉर माना जाएगा Dude, हम मौजूदा जंग की आर में पाकिस्तान का तख्ता पलट कर देंगे एक लड़का है वो ऐसे ही मुकम्मल काम के लिए बना है लेकिन उस पर लगाम कसना थोड़ा मुश्किल है पागल घोड़ा है इंटेलिजेंस के जबान में कहेंगे तो लोन मुल्क सर पर जुनून सवार रहता है उसका वो जहाद भी अपने हिसाब से करता है अभी भी कुछ तैयारी में लगा हुआ है व्हाट 
What? Oh man. Wow, that was a great cut. That was oh, a there's kids. There's kids. Come on, man. Not with kids. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, man. That's visceral right there. You need a moment? Man, now you, oh man. It's like a rule, man, the kids thing, man. You, oh, they I mean, just people in general, but even. They attack where they can attack, man. There's two things that I don't like to talk about is the R word and, and terrorism, because it just gets me riled up for the exact thing that you're dealing with right now. It's necessary for the story. It's absolutely necessary for the story, but it just puts you in such a messed up place though, man. But that's how you know it's good storytelling, because if you're not pulling an emotion out of somebody, then what's the point, right? This show is everything I was hoping it would be. Oh, it's far exceeded my expectations. Yeah. It's got such a real human element to it. Yeah, man. it feels like it was made by grown-ups. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you got your shady coworker, but you gotta work with him. He's a good guy, but yeah. you know he still gives you shit. Right, like the, me. Yeah, <laughs> the writing is excellent. Yeah, every situation is something outside of you know the secret agent stuff is something that you can relate to or even, know somebody that's currently going through it. Even within the secret agent stuff, like I think that there's stuff within that that you can relate to. Yeah, because there's just the dynamics. Well, I mean, it's still a job. It's cool the espionage and taking out criminals and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's a job. You got a boss that's always gonna be riding you for being late. Right. You got a coworker that's probably trying to mess with some other coworker. Some friendly ribbing that's going on back and forth. Yeah. You know, you're showing up late. He's going through the same thing that whoever it is that works at the at the 7-Eleven stop and go or whatever it is, is kind of going through. Or, or any corporate office. Yeah, 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 you know. What's great about this is you're compounding all of that with the necessity of secrecy because you're working for your government on a deep covert level yeah. that you cannot share with anybody. No. And like he's telling the principal, oh yeah, my friend's committing suicide because he can't share with her the scale of what he's dealing with, of scale of epic proportions, right? Yeah. It's just several orders of magnitude above what anyone in his proximity is dealing with. Yeah. And yeah. they couldn't possibly fathom the level of pressure he has on him at all times. Mm -hmm. He's got him hold on to that while having the normal family life that we all do. That's brilliant. Where do you separate the lie? I think to me that was like the big thing that I pulled from this episode. Where do you separate the lie? Because there was a lie in the beginning with the guy that says he's a computer software engineer or whatever it is, but he's really a he's really a jihadist. That was unclear. And you're right, it, it wasn't clear 100% that is exactly what it was, but the way our central character kind of just like dismissed it, mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, well, he's still that. There's that lie. There's the overall nonstop lie that he has to live every single day because of his job. He lies so much that his own daughter is just like abhorrent to it. He tells her to lie, he throws it off as if he's asking her to like pass him a glass of water. Just lie to your mom, he's like, I'm not. I'm not about to lie to your mom, and she's and, she, and he's like, you really want her to know, and she kind of mulls that over, and obviously she's unfazed because she's gonna risk getting in trouble for some boy, and then the, the result of these lies has has messed up the relationship with his wife. His entire world is one gigantic lie. I think if you lie long enough, you start to believe the lies. Yeah, and it becomes a habit. You start lying for no reason when yeah. you don't even have to lie. But the thing is, there's a lot of room for amusing situations in that. <laughs> like when she goes, hey, what, I thought you were picking up the kids. He's like, oh yeah, I'm at the school. <laughs> he starts calling out to the kids and it's like a little awkward. Think of any interaction that he had with any character where he didn't throw out a lie. Outside of the new girl, did he tell the truth to anybody when they first met? He lied to everybody. He lied to the teacher when you first met her. He, he lied to his boss about being right, late. Right. He lied to his own partner about where he was. And um, well, no, he did tell her the truth. Every time you you see him, he's lying. And he sort of has to to maintain balance. 
But he's still in some way a lovable character, just in yeah. his mannerisms and stuff, and talking that dude off the ledge with a lie. How many times are you gonna kill your mom? Man? Right, right. Well, he's so good at it. Yeah, it'll catch up to you at some point. He's... And then his wife is lying. Yeah. Everybody's lying. Everybody's lying. What does that say? <laughs> when you see the dude who she's sleeping with, that's what we're assuming allegedly. is going on, allegedly, yeah, yeah. right? He's like a good looking dude on top of that who's yeah. kind of built, you're like, oh man, and you had to be handsome. Yeah. It's like- And she works with him, he probably it, listens to her every day. Hmm. I'm sure he knows. And she lied about having to do whatever it was so he could pick up the kids. She was with him! <laughs> Golly, it's just all these lies. The lies, the lies, the lies. His partner even lied, he lied to the new girl. When he was like, do you have a boyfriend? And she's like, oh, he said, what does that have to do yeah, with he anything? Yeah, he's asking he's for like, himself. Oh, we know why you asking. Yeah. <laughs> you asking because you want to ease up in the, in the mm. Yeah. <laughs> lies after lies after lies. And I love every bit of it. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love every bit of it. I like the technical aspects of it as well. Like the way it's shot, the yeah. DP, the framing. They're going for really shallow depth of field sometimes. And mm -hmm. that's a trend right now with Netflix and Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm not really hot on that because that's not traditionally how movies were intended to be shot it's mm -hmm. like but we have become so in love with that shallow depth of field look that mm. it's just ubiquitous it's everywhere no. to me it's a little unnecessary because what happens is sometimes you don't get your focus it's not tack sharp you just have to work with these shots that are out of focus mm. that's a small thing that most, most people won't pick up on it's entertaining nonetheless it still has me because of the spirit of the show right the character of the show overall mm. i'm in love with it already i'm like this is such a great it's a great feeling like mm. the way it's handled the music and everything yeah. like that uh, the pacing is really is done really well because the slow moments don't seem that bad you're not agonizing going through the slow moments because something's either interesting on the actor's face right or they're saying something that's interesting enough to get you past the slow moments one of my favorite scenes that was shot that they did was is the claustrophobia inside of the alley chase the alley gunfight everything was just crammed yeah and it felt like there's not enough room for you to dodge these bullets like it's hitting the wall right here. Right. And the camera's right here. So yeah. you're flinching a little bit because it's like, man, this situation is just way too tight. Yo, big shout outs to the dude, the main bald guy with the stash, man. Yeah. And he's just like laser focused with the with letting the shots off. That dynamic between the police and whatever organization that our central character is working with is gonna be kind of interesting because they seem like some hotheads that aren't necessarily you can see the conflict right there. Yeah. yeah, how they're butting heads and whatnot. Yeah. I liked all that. What was also cool was in that sequence you were talking about, the editing was tight because like the camera would whip pan and you'd be in a different area. Right. And it kind of invites that feeling like you were talking about, that claustrophobia, the dizziness, how it makes you feel. I don't even know how to perfectly articulate that mm -hmm. feeling, but it gives you some kind of feeling when it's shifting and you're on that character again from another angle because it all kind of feels like the same myriad yeah. of stuff. Like you said, you have to have laser focus to not lose what you're looking for in that environment. It's a crazy maze and a lot of it looks the same. Mm -hmm. You know, I like that. This was a wonderful, uh, uh, what do you call it, pilot episode. Yeah, So man, that's, that's a good way to set the tone, man. Yeah. All right, so cool. Thanks you guys so much for hanging out with us. Uh, make sure to check us Intel on the social media <laughs> and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're watching this on Patreon, thanks so much for supporting us on the Patreon page. Really appreciate that. And uh, check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Koi. This is... It's your boy, Sintel. Peace out.